I went into this movie just thinking, will Colin Firth and Stellan Skarsgård be able to sing? And I'm still not sure. How, how was it for you guys? I don't know whether <laughs> that was a very natural thing for you, whether they had to do an Ashley Simpson and, and kind of help you out, or... What's the Ashley Simpson? They, they treat her voice tremendously in the studio to make it sound like she can sing. Um, no, I don't think they did much of that, really. No, I think what, what, you, what you get... What they didn't need good singing, actually. No, they just needed us. They didn't... Yeah. I mean, there are plenty of people out there you can cast in a musical if you want it. You know. Good singing. Yeah. yeah. It's... Uh, you know, when I... There are different conventions here. And while we were filming, I remember going to see Hairspray and seeing how slick it was and realizing that we weren't going to be doing that sort of thing at all. It just wasn't the name of the game. And I think, I mean, I love all that. It's the, 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 what I think of as the Broadway principle of, of, of just dazzling brilliance by every single member of the chorus and every lead, mm -hmm. lead role can sing beautifully. This one had some people who could and some people who couldn't really. And I think there's a there's that hen night, stag night feel that you know, we could all be there, really. Well, there's a way now. The French particularly like this, and Woody Allen did it with everyone says, I love you, and even Sweeney Todd has that notion that these are actors, and it's just the fact that the real voice adds to it. And I was joking, you both sound fine in this, by the way. Mm. I know that you, uh, you've done sang before with uh, uh, Ernest and, and also with uh, Centurions. You have a little song in there somewhere. And then there's a teenager at Sensation in Sweden. You did make a record that you didn't sing on. I think the yeah. uh, producer stepped in and decided to, to do all your vocals for you. So I don't know whether there was any kind of nerves about it then, whether you both felt, well, this is just going to be fun. He's got nerves where the bodies are buried, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Usually you can lie a bit. <laughs> All right, all right. I'll, <laughs> I'll talk, I'll talk. <laughs> but were you nervous then? Just yes. given that you terrified. Were... All right. Terrified. Yeah. I don't think I've been that nervous. I mean, you know, I'm quite old. And it, it, you, once, uh, you get a bit nervous. I mean, certainly get frightened going on stage every time, uh, I think. But a lot of things don't frighten me the way they used to. You know, first days on a film set are not quite as nerve-wracking as they were when you were young. But this actually frightened me more than anything I could remember in a long time. Um... You, you know, when you make a musical, you, you do a pre-record, obviously, before you start. And it, that's the thing that, that frightened me. I hadn't been on board very long. And we had, you know, I had a three-minute song. And they booked three days, uh, you know, from 9 o'clock till 8 o'clock. And I heard that Benny and Bjorn were hard taskmaster. And I just had an image of those three days being tortured. I don't know if you ever saw that documentary of, 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 of uh, Carreras being being bullied by Bernstein for t in recording oh, yeah. a West Side Story. And it, it's, it's, it's horrible to watch. Carreras seems almost in tears. And he <laughs> delivers a piece of an aria which sounds beautiful, and Bernstein takes off his glasses and shakes his head. It's not, and I, that was, I was going to be Benny. And I was, not that I was going to be Carreras, but I was going to be in floods of tears all the way through. Um, terrifying. And I could see I, that look on your face. Oh, I, I was absolutely terrified. Until I realised that what they wanted from me was the flaws. Yeah. Because they, w they wanted us to three men to... They wanted to sound like three middle-aged, rather ropey guys that have been exhumed, yeah. you know, from the past. <laughs> and, uh, and, and give it that personal element. I would think, too, being a, the great method actors that you both are, it must have been easy to tap into Harry and Bill because you're both jet-setting superstar male handsome actors. So you've probably got kids all over the place you don't know about. So this idea that <laughs> you're one of my woman's old, I think you might be the father of my child. It's our story. You probably realise, well, I've been here before. I know how oh to be yeah, this <laughs> <laughs> The whole Mediterranean is littered with a project. You're high, Philip. You've got about 12 sons. I don't know, six, I think, and yeah. a daughter as well and all that. So yeah. very, 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 very possible with you, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but as an actor, was it, was it kind of, I don't know what it was, a, a sense of this is just fun, or was it actually work involved? Because you're going to these beautiful islands. Obviously, Pinewood's a different story, but it, it looks like a holiday, but I don't know whether that was the way it felt once you got on set, whether it was just all well, fun or... Once you threw away your ambition, your pretensions, and stopped having any idea of trying to come off well in the film, then it was just... Yeah, yeah. It it was just there fun. are self-help programs yeah. to try to achieve that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Everybody should let film Stop like clinging <laughs> to the, you know, the, the, the dignity based on something. Yeah. Oh, all right, I'm silly. That's right. <laughs> You're you fine. You know? Two quick things before I finish. I know you shot in Ireland. I, I I'm just going to ask very quickly if you've been... I, and you've been, but I don't know whether you holiday there, you've ever had any time in Ireland, really, outside of I'm the work. shot two films there. But oh, yeah, King uh, Arthur, yeah. But I, I go back there now and then because my fiance used to live there and uh, she's got a lot of friends there. I even been to an Irish wedding. Have you? Was it, was I'm it a sweet. I'm strong enough for what's it. What's the drink yeah. involved? 
I don't remember. <laughs> That's how the weddings usually start. Yeah. Let's get married. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been for a long time, actually. And I've, it's, I've realized that it's too much time has gone by. Um, my, life keeps, my wife's Italian. It keeps drawing me that way now. And, uh, but I used to go a lot. I, I did one film there, in a Circle of Friends, oh, yeah. which is more than 15 years ago now. Yeah. Um, but it's, uh, that was a holiday because I only had three or four scenes and a moustache. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was my job. I, w- I pointed my moustache at people for, for three months. Oh, very technical it. stuff. Yeah, yeah. You've asked me there. Very technical yeah. stuff, Fathers. I just don't understand. No, no. It's just I meant I just hung out, hung out and did nothing right. in, uh, in Kilkenny. And it, just, it was great. Right, right. I'll be giving the friendly finger. Very nice to embarrass both of you. <laughs> Thanks.